Welcome. This is my JRPG collection, and I'm a composer, and I love JRPGs, and this channel is called JRPG Inspired, and today is New Year's Eve, and I started my channel in 2021, and now we're in going into 2022, and it's been since the previous spring, of, well, of spring of 2021 that I uploaded, I started my channel and just made things from scratch to try to learn, just learn by making mistakes, learn to build my channel and to understand what I actually, what kind of content I actually want to make. And yesterday I realized I need to make one last video for 2021, just talking to any viewer who loves JRPGs, who's found this channel, maybe just seeing the thumbnail, maybe just checking this out right now and just letting you know, and maybe even letting myself know what is this channel? What am I trying to make and share? And I think the first place I have to start is what kind of content do I want to make and what kind of content do I like seeing on YouTube? And that's JRPG collections, video game collecting, and also music composition for video games. And my goal is to get inspired by these games you're seeing right now and make original, sonically unique music. Um, and it's been a long journey. It's taken a long time to get to this point. And all the things you're seeing right now is just from the last year of collecting and also um, building this little studio you see um, and it's taken a lot of work. It's taken a lot. Um, I, I get really anxious about things and I just, I, st I made a lot of videos. I made a lot of music and I never released it this year because I just realized from making so many mistakes that I know what I want to make and I know what I don't want to make. I know what I want to see in here and I, I know what I don't want to see in here. And it's taken a long time to of writing music over and over again like you can see on here this is an album my first album concepted and i realized i have to stay dedicated to this goal of releasing my first me large custom JRPG inspired soundtrack a soundtrack to a game that doesn't exist and is inspired by games like Final Fantasy X and you know all these games you see here all these composers these Japanese composers and I've just been so afraid to release my music so afraid to get on camera and perform my music on my electric bass uh, to share my process of how I'm making music to share my collection and I know as as gamers as in, you know hobbyists or whatever you want to call it what you're seeing right in front of you right now is is visual inspiration that's driving me as a video game composer to make my own music that has the the powerful effect of like Chrono Trigger you know or Chrono Cross or Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy X, you know, all these games you see here right now, I've collected in the past year and a half. Um, some of it is from my childhood that survived all this time. Some of it is from Craigslist, online, local video game shops. Um, there's lots of stories here. Stories that I want to share with you, the viewer, and contribute to the online community of video game collecting and JRPG enthusiasts on YouTube to motivate other people to uh, inspire other people and also to um, share my my original music with and each one of these games you see here right now I plan on making individual videos for in the coming future sharing why I love them. Where did I get these games? Where was I in life when I started playing the game? Um, what does it inspire me to make? And in the video, I would make original music for 
what the the game's making me feel. And I know maybe you're, this doesn't make much sense, but that's why I'm turning the camera on and just talking because I'm trying to, I have a hard time explaining myself or really explaining how I'm feeling because these games evoke powerful nostalgic feelings in me. And I know in a lot of people they do, these games. Um, so that's what I want to make content about. And I haven't been able to really figure out how to do that yet. So I have really just, you know, I could have uploaded so much, but I, I just sacrificed, you know, maybe lesser content than what I think I was capable of to get to the point in my composing, um, my skills, I've had to do a lot of learning of how to even record music, how to record my own music, um, how to, you know, get it right at the, the composition level. And all these emotions are bottled up in me and I don't know how to express them. And I just, just think that the answers to keep developing, keep writing, keep training, keep practicing, keep um, writing better music, get, get the music better, get, you know what I mean? And all those things are necessary. But at the same time, I'm not sharing or giving. So I wanted to make this video to document for the channel, for the coming future of this channel, to maybe someone in, finds this and, you know, maybe they find what they find here and get inspired in, in just this way of seeing all the stuff that has, you know, been accumulated. And at the end of the day, this is all just material things. But what they represent to me is they evoke powerful emotions of, of nostalgia, of, um, you know, I look at these games, I come and stare at these games almost every day and go, I want to make music like these composers. I want to make games like these composers. Or these, I want to make games like, I ultimately do want to make my own games. But I want to really make games for story driven or giant or uh, big large RPGs like these games. And, um, I just haven't figured out how to really express myself on YouTube yet. So I really wanted to just jump, jump right in, make this video, document this for the channel. And also just maybe, um, grab a few new viewers that are like interested in what they're seeing and hearing. And, um, I'm still going to be growing over the next several months. I have to buy, I am saving up to buy, um, some gear. Um, and the first thing I plan on releasing is my first album that is a, a collection of, it's like a, a showcase or a portfolio of what I'm capable of at this time. And I've taken a lot of time to get it right at the composition level, the fundamental levels, um, and also accum accumulate the tools necessary to uh, execute this music. Um, the game you're seeing down here, Final Fantasy X, like that sound, the, the way it sonically sounds is because of keyboards. So I've had to find that stuff and learn how to utilize it, learn how to record it. And it's taken a lot of time and it's at times been really painful and frustrating. And I've had to step away at times like this music, you're, this MIDI information you're seeing right now is all piano roll concept of compositions that are going to be designed, arranged and orchestrated by myself and recorded using these keyboards and, um, you know, using string samples and uh, just a whole bunch of different sources coming together to make something sonic, sonically unique and to evoke the emotions of such a game as Final Fantasy X. You know, those are hard things to capture, but it's taken me a long time and a lot of trial and error and um, being self primarily self-taught as a composer. I'm trained formally as a musician, but I learned very flawed. My learning was very flawed because of my emotional issues and my anxiety and depression. So I've had to learn how to channel these feelings of nostalgia and these powerful feelings of these games into composition by myself. And that's a journey I've had to undertake by myself. But that's why you see so much before you, you know, like it inspires me and drives me. And I know there's other people 
that feel the same way and I want to share with them, give to them, connect with them. And um, maybe that's you right now watching, finding this video and being like, what is this? You know, who is this? What is this? So I just had to make this video on New Year's Eve 2021. We're going into 2022, a new year. You know, t there's a lot going on in the world. It's hard on everybody. And these games just bring a lot of joy to a lot of people and such as myself. And I just, I just want to share that and make content and make videos that I would like to see in here. And maybe other people would be interested too. you know, collecting videos, being on camera, performing on my instrument, the electric bass, performing, um, and sharing my music as powerful as it can be. Um, you know, building set pieces and performing in front of them and talking about these games, making a video on each one of these games and making original music for that video, for the game, you know, talking about where I was in life when I got the game, how I got the game, talking about the collecting aspects as well as um, what it inspires me to do. Because like I said, these are just material things. They're just things. But what do they actually drive me as an individual to create? These are creations from, you know, these games are created by lots of people like hundreds of people work on these games they take years to make the soundtracks alone um like xenoblade chronicles 2 yes and 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 also ace um take hundreds of people to make to each in each instrument the orchestra is composed is performed by an individual person and a team of people writes the music and dedicated people make certain aspects of the music that's why I'm trying to learn from all that and basically figure out a way to do it all by myself until I get strong enough to outsource and include other people into the vision of um, what the final product is. So I just wanted to make this video. I know I've said a lot, but it's been bottled up for a while now. I think about it every day. I'm like, I, I wish I, I really desire to make YouTube videos. And I learn by doing, I learn by making mistakes, and I just want to make, I have to make mistakes. We have to make mistakes to grow and learn. And I just want to create a channel, a space on YouTube that talks about these things, that shares the process. I would, I would like to screen capture my computer while I compose and show myself literally making the music while I'm talking about the game and then I perform the music on camera and I would love to have music in this video right now be, be sharing it but it's just not there yet it's there there's a lot there but I'm just I'm just not ready to do that yet I don't know how to make make the production around that to present that in the best way possible yet and that's why i've taken so much time of self-development development as an individual as a person working on my mental health um dealing with anxiety and you know um and also dealing with the the technical aspects of how can i present my vision in the best way possible and you know as an as a person that's all we can do is do our best so this is me at the end of 2021 d just doing my best and I hope that this video finds anyone, even if one person, and they get inspired to do what they want to do. You know, um, these are just video games. They're just games. You know, a lot of people think they're a waste of time. But when I look at this and I have realized the potential of what this is emotionally invoking in me, and I can transfer that into something, into a product, something meaningful something original something that doesn't already exist it's easy to copy other people and and you have to take techniques from other people other composers other artists whatever your your discipline is but to take to make something truly original it takes a lot of time effort and vision and sacrifice and that's what you're seeing before you and that's what you're hearing and i hope that these words can inspire someone else. And that's ultimately one of the main goals for this channel, JRPG Inspired, is to um, talk about mental health, talk about, um, 
you know, how to overcome negative thinking and, and literally move forward and do something pr productful, you know, do, do what grabs your heart, you know, that's what these games do. They grab my imagination, they inspire, they evoke my imagination, they grab my heart and the music from these games really, really captivates my imagination and through, you know, years of listening to it, years of at certain times of my life, the lowest times of my life, turning to these games to find inspiration or just, you know, even as an escape, I've realized, but more importantly, taking something meaningful and productful from that. And, you know, you could say, oh, I wasted like a hundred hours on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but hearing that music so much made me write a ton of my own music and showed me glimpses of the possibilities that I could make something as powerful as that by myself. You know, maybe not as powerful as that, but, you know, coming close in my own unique way. And I think everyone's capable of pulling that out of themselves. And if I can make content that shares that process, that shows that passion, then maybe I've done something good. So that's what I wanted to share today. And I'll give one more overview of all these games here. I just got this special edition on Christmas. I would love to talk about the music of Fire Emblem and what it, it's... I, I listen to the music of Fire Emblem like every day now. Um, these games, these PlayStation games you see right now um, are some of my originals from when I was a child. I still have them. They survived all these years. A lot of these came off Craigslist, local video game shops. That Chrono Trigger DS was sealed. What I have it uh, documented on my channel. I opened it and I plan to make a video about why I opened it and how it's more valuable to me opened. Stuff like that. I want to. I want. I want to make content about like collecting and why. You know, there are sealed games here. There's a few sealed games in this collection. And I want to make videos about like. You know, maybe they're more valuable to me opened so I can get inspired by them. So anyway, Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you're well with what's going on in the world. I hope you're well in your mental health and your well-being. And I, I really hope and have faith that I can make some meaningful content sharing music, sharing performance, sharing the love of collecting and, and playing these games and connecting with you uh, in the community, um, trying to bridge two communities kind of, but in my own unique way. And I hope I can, you know, find more like, like-minded like people that, that love games, love making music as well. So with that, with that said, um, I'll see you this year in 2022.